But like, this is this is my thing about Brisbane dealers, right? And I don't know if it's a small town thing, but I, I don't like you guys might not understand because you know when you guys was just free acid and whatever you wanted to do, but. <laughs> Now, like now what happens is you get a drug dealer, you can't just ring them up. You can't just ring them up and be like, G'day mate, I'd like a bag of your finest cocaine, please. You can't do it. Now, apparently, in Brisbane, every drug dealer's phone is fucking tapped and the cops are listening. So you've got to have, like, text messages and shit that have got code words for everything that you're using. Yeah? Yeah. Which means I've got the strangest conversations in my fucking text messages. That make no fucking sense. Like, I'll give you an example, right? This dealer, right? He insisted on me calling it lobster. (laughs) So then I've got text messages in my phone where it's like, Hey, mate, just out tonight. Love a bit of lobster this evening. You reckon you can hook me up? And then his text message back is, Yeah, mate, fresh off the trawler. I'll be there in ten minutes. (laughs) I'm like, do you really think... That if the police are listening, like they're sitting there going, oh, I'm so sorry, Johnson. We've been following this guy for weeks. I really thought he was a drug dealer. Just turns out he's a keen fisherman. And this guy he's talking to has a hankering for fucking lobster at 3 a.m. on a Saturday morning. Great customer service, though. He delivers it every time. Bit expensive, though. 350. Ugh, yuck. That's not even the best name he's given it, eh? Like, uh, I remember once, I remember once I got a text message from him, right? It was before the weekend. And once he sent me a message, he's like, hey, bro, uh, if you're out this weekend, I've got those COVID vaccines you've been looking for. <laughs> My bro, that's not even out yet. I'm like, get a little bit more creative. People are going to look at it and go, this prick's got the cure. <laughs> My favourite name he ever gave, the favourite name he ever gave uh, drugs was, um, was uh, he messaged me about cocaine and he's like, hey man, if you're looking for any inspiration this weekend. <laughs> I was like, that is a fuck. That's great, because when I have it, I feel fucking inspired. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I have a bit, I'm coming up with business ideas. I'm like, <laughs> oh, it's like sushi train, but it's with slider burgers. It's going to be sick. That's the inspiration is the best name he gave drugs since he called MDMA the happy sad sads. Because what happens is you get happy, but then the next day you get double the sad. I like how you said that's right. You fucking party. I like that. Those polka dots are for show, are they?